So, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to set up an iSCSI target device on Windows Server 2012 and an iSCSI uh, initiator. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and connect to your server. And as you can see, I've already created a partition for this iSCSI device. Uh, this is just a partition of my C drive. It doesn't matter uh, how big it is or uh, where the partition is, you can put your iSCSI device either on your C drive or a different drive. And and your iSCSI device will not use the entire drive. It will only use as much space as you specify uh, in the setup. So it will create a .vhd file for the amount you specify. And then it will put that file on the hard drive. So now we're going to get to actually installing the iSCSI target server. And you want to go down to PowerShell, which is in the taskbar there. But if it's not there, you just type PowerShell in the start menu, and it'll come up. And you want to type the command add dash windows feature space fs dash iscsi target dash server and then hit enter and if you type the command correctly it should go to collecting data and in install and then it will give you a, a exit code which should be success Exit code success, and now we can close this window. <laughs> and you want to go over to Server Manager, click on that, and on the left bar, you want to go down to File and Storage Servers, which will just appear after you install iSCSI, the iSCSI uh, target server. Oh, you want to go down to iSCSI and you'll come up with this window to create an iSCSI device start the new iSCSI virtual device with it you click on that and let's open a new uh, window and this will say select your iSCSI virtual disk location so here you choose which drive the uh, the iSCSI device will go on. So I'm going to put it on my E drive. And like I said, it doesn't matter which drive you put on. It will not use the whole drive or it uh, won't erase anything. It will just create a virtual hard drive file on that drive. So I'm going to put it on my E drive. Click next. And we'll type in the description of the drive. And I'm going to make it a 3 gigabyte drive. Now access servers, this bit is important. This will uh, allow you, this will allow computers to actually connect to the iSCSI device. So you need to m specify the uh, the IP address of the server that you want to connect to this device. So I'm going to click add and go down to enter a value for the selected type. and I'm going to choose IP address and I'm going to put in the IP address of your computer that you want to connect to the drive with and uh, you can use a, a LAN IP address or a, a WAN IP but uh, if you want to find out your local IP address you just go to command prompt on your computer and you type IP config And if you scroll up to the uh, your your local adapter, local area connection, uh, beside IPv4 address, it will tell you your 
your IP address, which is 192.168.0.2 in my case. So I'm going to go back to the server and enter that IP there so I will be able to connect to that device. And then click OK. Now we can click Next. I'm not going to set up authentication, so Next. And now we click Create. And that will create the PHD file and the, the target, the access servers. And you'll see now on the drive you put it on, you've got a lot less face. And uh, it will create this folder. And inside is the virtual hard disk image, which is a .vhd file. And now we're done on the server. So you can close your connection to the server and go back to your desktop. But before you disconnect, you'll need to know the IP address of your server. So we'll go and CMD on the server and do an IP config again. And the IP is 192.168.0.32. So we'll remember that. And now we'll disconnect from our server. And now you want to go to Start menu. And I believe this is the same for Windows Vista, Windows 7, and Windows 8. You just go to Start and type iSCSI. And it'll come to Programs. And the program will be iSCSI Initiator. And you want to click on that. <laughs> and if this, if this is your first time running uh, this program, it will come, with, come up with a confirmation saying uh, whether or not you want to start it as a Windows service. And you would click yes to that. Uh, now we need to connect to the... Uh, the target that we just created on the server. So to do that, you want to put in the IP of the server you just created the iSCSI device on, which is 192.168.0.32, and we'll click Quick Connect, and that will say Connected. And you'll go to My Computer, you go to My Computer and you'll see the drive is not there. You first need to go into uh, Computer Management and initialize the drive. So you want to right click on, on My Computer and click Manage. Now you go to Disk Management and you'll see there's a new drive there. And you won't be able to create a partition. You first need to initialize the drive by right clicking on Disk 2 uh, Unknown and click initialize disk and you use guide partition table now that's done we can partition it so new simple volume and make sure that it's actually assigned to a drive letter where it will not show up so we're going to do ntfs in a quick format and there's your drive And now we're done. And that's how you install that on Windows Server 2012. Now, if you want to do this on Server 2008, it is a similar process, but it is slightly different. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So you want to connect to your, your server. So I connected now. And if you go to PowerShell, and you put in the same command you did in Server 2012, you will find that this command will not work why not? well Windows Server 2008 does not come with the files uh, to install the iSCSI target server for you so you need to go to the Microsoft website and download these files manually and I'll put a link in the description to this so now they're on this link Microsoft iSCSI Software Target 3.3 .3.
No, you need to download this and install it. How we're going to save this to the desktop? I'm going to close that. And uh, extract. Now you want to go to the uh, folder of which uh, which OS you've installed. So it's a 64-bit version. You're going to go there, and you're going to click on IceCuzzy Target Public, and install that. Now that's done, I'm going to open Server Manager and go down to Storage. And uh, click on Microsoft iSCSI Software Target. And we're going to go to iSCSI Targets. And we're going to right click and create a new target. And uh, with the target, you can define the access servers so you need to create this first and to uh, specify an IP I'm going to click advanced add and add the IP of the server I want to connect just like before and now I'm going to go down to the devices on the left hand side and I'll create a new virtual disk uh, now, with Windows 2008, you need to uh, manually type out the name of the disk to create it. So we're going to type uh, disk1.vhd. I'm going to make this 7 gigabytes. Click next, and then you want to add the target you've just created and that will define the access servers to this disk and now that's done we can disconnect from our server and go through the exact same process that we did for Windows Server 2012 to connect the disk to your computer